Our big fall road trip is coming to an end with a quick overnight in Jackson Hole. We drove into Grand Teton National Park from the north, directly from Yellowstone, and were struck by the blue waters and prominent mountains right away. We're Kristen, Jameson, and Maddie. We live in our motorhome full time and we vacation in our camper van. We're excited to take you with us. We took an incredibly scenic driving tour of the park and then headed to find a campsite before dark. There isn't much in the way of free camping near Jackson Hole, but if you're willing to work for it, there's National Forest designated dispersed camping up a steep dirt road. The views are totally worth it, even if it's a cloudy day like we had. The Tetons were the final destination on our road trip, but we still had to get back to our home base in Utah. As we approached Hurricane, the trip meter ticked past 2,000 miles and 45 hours of driving. It was a lot of drive time, but it was an amazing adventure. Well, 24 hours ago, almost exactly, we were in Jackson Hole, Wyoming, and finishing up the end of our two-week van trip and we drove from Jackson Hole to American Fork south, or Spanish Fork south of Salt Lake City um, last night from there and this morning we got up early and drove from oh that light is oh so bad all of a sudden uh, this morning we drove from Spanish Fork Utah back to Hurricane Utah where we had the bus parked and we picked up the, I did some work in the middle of the day and then we loaded up the bus and we're on the road to Lake Havasu City and we are gonna be on the Arizona side, um, but we're currently driving through California at the moment on the line, it's kind of like a split area. Um, so, we were maybe gonna just drive halfway. Um, I think you guys know, but when we drive the, the bus and the van, Jameson and I drive separately. And uh, we were only going to maybe push for halfway to Lake Havasu tonight, um, but it's been like really easy driving. We scooted through Vegas with no traffic and uh, still got some daylight to burn. So we called ahead to see if our spot in Lake Havasu would be available a night early, and it is, so we are gonna push for it and pull into Lake Havasu tonight. Um, so unfortunately, it's probably gonna be a little bit dark when we pull in, and we'll probably have to give you a tour of our new digs uh, tomorrow morning instead. Good morning from Lake Havasu City in Arizona. We pulled into our new site for the month last night and got some stuff unpacked. Uh, but we're gonna get settled this morning and thought we'd bring you along.
Welcome to the Islander Resort on the island in Lake Havasu. This is by far the fanciest RV resort we've ever stayed at, and it was our end of summer treat to ourselves. It's also the largest RV park we've ever stayed at with about 500 spots. Today, we're just getting settled and biking around to get acquainted with the resort. Stay tuned to see us hit the water and take advantage of lake living.